Um, okay. All right. Our fearless leader has continued his obsession with designing a sub-250 gram plane. ADHD is a hell of a drug. This time Mike started with a fuselage about 11 inches long. It has the same front hatch design he'd used before. The wing was a KFM-3 with a 38 and a half inch span and a 25 degree sweep. It featured a downward facing vertical stabilizer with a straw for the receiver antenna. It came off immediately after the first landing. Brilliant. In this configuration it weighs 243 grams fully loaded. Mike, in his infinite wisdom, kinda just threw it all together and took it to the field. His hopes had been crushed by the cruel mistress of flight so many times before. But today was different. It needed more power to stay in the air than Mike wanted. But it was a start. Jeez, who writes this stuff? Alright. New Elevons. Who dis? Coming out two inches, coming out to one inch at the end. Let's see if this gives me that little extra lift I need. Different motor. Mad progress, son, but there were still issues with lift. This thing just wouldn't climb unless the throttle was way up. Back to the lab. He started with changing the sweep of the wing. He added some material to get it to 20 degrees. Next, he took about 3 inches off of each wing. He noticed that at high speeds the wings flapped a lot. Then he slapped the upside down vertical stabilizers back on because it looks cool. Back to the field. So I did a flight here, 17 minutes, 20 seconds. It flew great. Uh, easier to control. Wasn't as extreme generally. I think that is mostly due to uh, the sweep decrease. Uh, and the wings being shorter meant I didn't have any wobbles or flapping around. What I was aiming to do has been accomplished. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna call this a win. Either way, version one here is awesome. With that, we have the Micro Pelagornis. You can see similarities between this design and his last batch of 250 gram flying wing designs. In fact, some of the learnings from this design went into the last iteration we saw before. And this gave him more ideas to try out once the weather cooperates. But for now, like and subscribe to 835 FPV to get in on that hip-hop drone nerd action. Peace.